the world's richest man today. Anyone has it up? And I did. It's a man called Warren Buffett. Now, Warren Buffett, world's number one richest man. <coughs> I'm going to talk to you a little bit about him later. But just before that, Ray was in the hypermarket. Hypermarket, supermarket. There was this old man who <coughs> was pushing his trolley. And when suddenly he bumped into a young man. He apologized profusely and he said sorry to the young man. And he said, oh, I'm, I'm really sorry because I, I wasn't looking out for you. I was looking for my wife. And the young man said, oh, what a coincidence. I'm also looking for my wife. And the old man said, well, since we're both looking for our wives, why don't we combine forces together? Maybe we'll find it faster. It's more efficient this way. The young man said, that's a fantastic idea. Good, let me describe to you how my wife looked like. And he said, my wife has... It's, a, it's got long blonde hair, going all the way down to the waist. And her dimensions are, her vital statistics are 35, 24, and 35. And she's dressed in a tight red tank top and a white pair of shorts, platform shoes. And he turned to look to the old man and said, So that's my wife. What's yours? At this stage, the old man was going, his eyes was popping up already, his jaw dropped and going. <laughs> and he said, so tell me about your wife. The old man said to the young man, forget about her, let's look for yours. <laughs> <laughs> now what's the moral of the story? Moral of the story is that when you want to set a goal, your goal needs to be powerful. It needs to be exciting to you. It needs to be inspirational to you. 